When people talk about millennials and different generation, for me, it's like I drop a computer, the pieces are all over the place and I don't know how to put it together. So when we're talking about Generation C and millennials and Boomer and X, first of all, I don't know where to fit. All my team is supposed to be millennials conflicted and I'm supposed to have a problem with them, but I don't. But I do have customers who have been complaining and they don't know how to manage this. So we just to do a webinar June 3rd, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And like always, we call expert to help us to um, build this. Nanette, how we, can, how we can call this situation with millennials and generations? Uh, I think maybe tension is a good word. <laughs> A little bit of a class differentiation, maybe. The, uh, the, the situation that exists in workplace right now, which I'm sure everybody knows at this point, is that we have four different generations in the workplace. So we have the boomers who are the oldest generation and they're looking to retire within the next 10 years or so. And then we have Gen Z, the youngest generation who are just graduating college right now. They're just starting their careers. And then in between, we have the millennials and the Gen Z, uh, and they, I'm sorry, Gen X, and they all have different perspectives on the purpose of work, their commitment to work, how they carry out their work responsibilities, how they interact with technology, how they best learn, how they um, view leadership or respect leadership. Every generation has a different perspective. Um, and so it causes some tension in the workplace because I think, like anyone, most of us think, well, my way is the right way. Um, and, and then when you have large groups of going, well, there's lots of us boomers here, or there's lots of us millennials here, it can cause more tension in the workplace. But to your point a few moments ago, it, it doesn't have to be that way. If we have more open communication and understanding among about what, what um, motivates each of the generations, and that's what we'll be talking about in our webinar, I think we'll come to a much um, better consensus in the workplace. So Anastasia, what is your opinion about this? Well, with a workforce that has such a dynamic um, spread of generations from elder to younger, mature, or greenhorn, what we're really finding a lot is stereotypes. Uh, people walk in with a stereotype with your gender, your race, and your age. And so it's one of the first things that people will associate you to is to what you look like or what you sound like, depending on your age. And when you have this kind of ageism in all different types of generations of the workplace, you get some really interesting conversations and you also get a lot of tension. And uh, what I love to do is to see how generations can work better together. We have baby boomers who have such great experience, but now are leaving super, super fast. And how can we transfer that knowledge to the younger generations to stay in companies and their businesses? So what's good Gen X gonna do being the smallest generation, but yet the most specialized generation as they are the upcoming executive leadership of these companies, what's their place? And then we have millennials, the most popularized generation in good and bad ways. And so there's so many of them. So what do we do now that this huge horde of, of generations and baby boomer leaving and now we have millennials coming in and taking middle management high management positions and then gen z of course they have lots of questions of where they're going especially with 2020 and how that started off with coronavirus and the stocks of world war three and all of those things happening on social media they're feeling really uncertain and so there's this topic of where is my place in my in my job or in the business each generation is asking that question and how they can work together is kind of a question mark in itself. With not knowing where you're gonna be, you're not quite sure where everyone else is standing. And so it's really all about communicating with each other, being able to know that you're on the same team, regardless of age, regardless of race, and regardless of gender, and to be able to really come to a certain understanding of values. And that's really where it comes down to, is really understanding generations tend to have a lot of the same types of values. They all wanna have a mission, they all wanna have a purpose, and they all wanna make an impact. Those are three things that they all have in common. So creating that foundation and moving forward from there is really where the approach should be. Only that one doubt, I know it's a stupid question. What are we gonna do after C? We've run off the ladder, so we're gonna need to start over. So are we gonna talk about those things too on the I, webinars? You know, I've thought that myself, and I actually did just see a reference in print the other day about what the new group is gonna be called, and I forgot what it was, but I'll try and bring that to the webinar. <laughs> So I'm not the only one thinking about that, no? Exactly, we're out of letters. What are we going to do? If you want to have questions, if you cannot participate on the webinar for the time of the day, the good news is going to be on demand. So send us to your questions in advance. We're going to forward there to the expert. I'm going to be coordinating. I want to, can I be the referee in the middle of the reading? 